नमस्कार देर आर मेनी डिफरेंसेस ऑफ ओपिनियन अबाउट द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ राहू एंड केतु दोज हु डू नॉट बिलीव इन एस्ट्रोलॉजी मेक द आर्गूमेंट दैट द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ टू इमेजिनेटरी प्लैनेट्स कॉल्ड राहू केतु इज जज वॉट इज द सब्जेक्ट इज इट न द क्वेश्चन इज देर इज नो प्लैनेट नेम्ड राहू केतु सो वॉट इज राहू केतु and why is rahu ketu called a planet in astrology that is the topic of today's discussion before starting the discussion i would like to request that those who have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon next to it so that you can keep up to date on each of my videos and those who have already subscribed thank to them who are requested to write in the comment box and tell me how you feel about my discussions i started a live program on youtube in a live program you can talk to me through live chat and i will answer one of your questions subscribe to the channel now to get pre predictions anyone who submits a question in super chat or super thanks will be given priority to receive the prediction so watch the live program and give your opinion now come back to the discussion some say that the north and south poles of the earth are rahu and ketu and some say that dark and bright place of moon is rahu and ketu However, Rahu Ketu's view of astronomy is the Earth revolves around the Sun in an ecliptical path. The ecliptic is the plane that forms along the Earth's orbit and the Sun. The Moon revolves around the Earth. The orbit of the Moon is formed the plane along the Earth. The plane of the Moon's orbit. and the plane of the earth's orbit are not in the same plane the orbit of the moon is tilted slightly along the plane of the earth's orbit it has an angle of about 5 degrees due to this inclination the lunar orbit intersects ecliptic at two points these points are always opposite to each other and the distance be between them is 180 degree these two points are called rahu and ketu the ecliptical path of the earth is called the orbit of the earth the earth revolves around the sun from west to east the moon revolves around the earth in the same way the path of the moon that intersects the ecliptic to the north is called rahu and the path of the moon that intersects the ecliptic to the south is called ketu these two points are always 180 degrees apart that i have said this is why nodes always have opposite sides in the chart that means part chart the lunar orbit also revolves around the earth relative to the earth that is shows from the earth as the earth revolves around the sun and also revolves around its own center and it takes 18 years for the lunar orbit to revolve so both points seem to be moving in opposite direction subject to the earth it takes 18 years for rahu and ketu to travel the zodiac once that is why all planets are running anti clockwise but rahu and ketu are running clockwise it is important to remember that those two points have no real existence like the other planets these two are two geometrical points in space that is why in astrology they are 
old shadow planets. Take a look at the picture to understand the real position of Rahu and Ketu. I am trying to explain to you a little better. Look at this picture. This is sun and this is earth. Earth revolves sun in this way from west to east. This is moon. Moon moves around the earth in this way. This is the ecliptic that forms at the parallel of, parallel of Earth's or, orbit and Sun. This is the ecliptic of the Earth and it is the Earth's orbit. So, the Moon's orbit intersects the ecliptic in two points. This is the north node Rahu and this is the south node Ketu. These two points are called Rahu and Ketu. This yellow, yellow place is the ecliptic of moon. As the ecliptic of moon is tilt near about 5 degree. The lower portion of it has been marked other color, not in yellow. It is below the ecliptic. So yellow color is not seen. I, I think you understand better. <coughs> These two points are called Rahu and Ketu. The two points where the orbit of moon intersects the ecliptic of the earth. These two points, Rahu and Ketu. That's all for today. Namaskar.